Hello friends, I'm George Tichy, the New York correspondent with Ukrainian news agency Ukrainform, and you're watching The Deep Concern. Deeply concerned. Usually this weekly video blog is in Ukrainian and we speak about events that cause our deepest concerns throughout the week. But this time I would like to speak with our foreign audience and tell about something that rather gives inspiration than causes concerns. I'm not sure if you noticed it, but it really fascinates me how Ukrainian revolution, the events in Kyiv in winter 2013-2014, is now inspiring freedom fighters around the globe from Latin America to East Asia. We've seen, for example, in Venezuela how protesters use DIY wooden and metal shields to protect from Maduro's forces. Do those shields remind you something? This is no surprise given that Venezuelans are actually learning from Euromaidan's experience and get inspired by the Ukrainian revolution. As Victoria Ramirez and Andreina Aponte of Reuters report in this 2017 article, the documentary film Winter on Fire by director Evgenia Finievsky, which describes the events at Maidan, has been discreetly shown in Venezuela, in bookshops, in a university, in public squares, and there has been also public discussions and forums held afterwards. YouTube is full of videos from Venezuela drawing parallels between Ukrainian and Venezuelan protests. The Winter on Fire with Spanish subtitles can be found there too. 10,000 miles away in Hong Kong, they watch Winter on Fire too. In this recent article for Quartz, why Hong Kong's protesters are looking up to Ukraine, Isabella Steger, the author, is quoting Lin Gao, who is the administrator of a popular Facebook group, Live Resistance Media. He says, Hong Kong protesters are interested in Euromaidan because it's enlightening and educational for them. Not only shields are used in Hong Kong, but look at this use of lasers to complicate police action. Looks pretty familiar for Ukrainian observer. It's really hard to imagine that Hong Kong authorities or Maduro regime would want to repeat the fate of Ukraine's ousted president, Viktor Yanukovych. The president tonight is in hiding and just look at the images coming in now. Families wandering the grounds of his luxury home outside the capital today taking turns playing on his private golf course, helping themselves to his golf clubs. However, this is exactly what they do when they act just like him. Five years ago, the Ukrainian leader used criminal gangs of thugs called Titushki in Ukraine to attack peaceful protesters. Now, this does not differ from Maduro's collectivos or triads in Hong Kong. Good luck, guys. This is a winning strategy. On 22nd February 2014, President Yanukovych fled Ukraine. This event has sent shockwaves around the globe. The first one to freak out was Russia's President Vladimir Putin, of course, who started an aggressive war against Ukraine, trying to destroy it and disperse the energy of Maidan. For the next few years, the world seemed to have been watching how the Ukrainian-Russian war unfolded, not being sure in the outcome of it. The victory of Maidan was therefore kept in the shadow for some time. Years later, it slowly becomes evident that Ukraine has not given up, it has not lost in the war, it has not collapsed, and it's slowly moving on the path it had chosen. It seems that Ukraine now remains the only horizontal, web-organized and leaderless revolution that actually succeeds. Look, Ukraine has not collapsed economically, it's slowly recovering, and it has not slipped into authoritarianism, as recent elections show. Why does Ukrainian revolution inspire freedom fighters around the globe and make authoritarians tremble in fear? The answer is easy, it's effective. It's interesting that not just all protesters in the world look up to Ukraine. Rather, it's those who fight in the thickest darkness, those who picked up a fight against a much stronger enemy, those who fight for freedom with their backs against a wall of cold despair. The lesson to the world is simple. The fight is worth fighting. One can not only fight, but actually win. And this is actually where Maidan inspires. However tough the circumstances, However small the chances, people can win. Share your thoughts in the comment section to this video and subscribe to our Ukraine Forum YouTube channel. Thank you for watching this and see you at the next Deep Concern.